do the crime, take the punishment, says former NZ7's player banned for doping breaches. Do the crime, take the punishment, says former NZ7's player banned for doping breaches Former Waikato player Glenn Robertson has been banned for four years after admitting taking a performance enhancing substance. A former New Zealand Sevens player banned for four years for taking a banned substance claimed due the crime. Take the punishment when accused by drug-free sport New Zealand. ex Waikato player Glenn Robertson, 26, was one of four players revealed on Wednesday to have been banned for up to four years following a New Zealand Rugby Judicial Committee hearing. Former Black Fern Zoe Barry, prominent Manawatu club player Reese Pedersen and Otago club player Ben Cockwad Dodds were the others. Former Black Fern Zoe Barry has been banned for four years for using a prohibited substance. The New Zealand Rugby Judicial Committee has ordered the suspension of Barry, who won one cap for the Black Ferns in 2012. For four years from July 31, 2017, Pedersen, who played for Manawatu against the Hurricanes in 2014, for 21 months from January 1, 2017, Robertson for four years from February 3, 2017 and Cock at odds for two years commencing on July 31, 2017. All four athletes were playing club rugby at the time of the offending. ex manawatu player Reese Pedersen has received a 21-month ban for a doping breach. Clenbuterol and metanidone are both prohibited substances under the NZ Sports anti-doping rules. All athletes pleaded guilty to at least one of the offences alleged. The charges were brought against the rugby players by Drug Free Sport New Zealand DFSNZ, following their investigation, which was initiated by Medzif into the operation of the website Clenbuterol NZ. It identified a number of athletes from a range of sporting codes as having made purchases from the website in 2014 and 2015. New Zealand Rugby General Manager of Rugby Neil Sorensen confirmed the bans on Wednesday and said it was disappointing rugby players had been involved in purchasing banned substances. Four New Zealand club rugby players have been banned for up to four years for doping offences. What has happened to these four rugby players serves as a reminder that all athletes have to be very careful about what they put into their bodies, Sorensen said. In partnership with the Rugby Players Association, RPA, and DFSNZ, Drug Free Sport NZ, we have developed and delivered comprehensive anti-doping education programs but these are primarily aimed at high-performance, professional players. What this investigation has revealed is that there is a lot of ignorance in our community game on the issue of performance enhancing drugs. New Zealand Rugby General Manager Neil Sorensen has confirmed doping bans for four club rugby players. We will continue to work with Sport NZ, DFS NZ and the RPA to keep rugby and all sports in New Zealand as clean as possible, said Sorensen. All four are entitled to apply for a review of the Judicial Committee decisions. The Judicial Committee, chaired by Barry Patterson QC, did not accept Barry's evidence that she had not used clenbuterol at the time of purchase and was comfortably satisfied that Ms. Barry used the clenbuterol and that she therefore committed the violation alleged. The Waikato University club player admitted being in possession of clenbuterol from February 10, 2015 and using the prohibited substance at various times. He did not take legal advice or file written substances before his hearing on December 7. The Judicial Committee decision said, his attitude was if you do the crime you take the punishment. 
Robertson did not provide details of his playing history, but the committee learned he was registered to the Waikato University Rugby Club at the time of the violations. He represented the New Zealand under 20s in 2011-12 and played for the New Zealand Sevens team in those seasons. He acknowledged at the hearing he had played a few games for the Waikato representative team, including a Ran Furley Shield challenge. Robertson said he had taken clenbuterol to lose weight so he could feel better of himself. He became aware of the way to purchase clenbuterol through his gym. Robertson said he had attended seminars and knew clenbuterol was banned in sport. He did not play rugby in 2017. When advised by DFSNZ of the allegations against him in September 2017, Robertson sent an email admitting to the charges laid against him. He said, the banned substance I purchased as used was not in the intention of enhancing my sports performance, as at that time I was not pursuing further honors through sport. The immediate purchase and use of the banned substance was for personal reasons. Robertson was banned for four years from February 3, 2017 after adjustments for timely admission, six months, and delay in bringing the charges, three months. Pedersen, who played for Manawatu under 20s and was selected for the Manawatu Academy in development squads in 2014, has played for the Old Boys Mayorist Club since 2014. He captained them for the last two seasons and was judged Manawatu Premier Rugby's best and fairest player in 2017. He gave evidence that he had never been part of a high-performance program or a registered drug testing pool and had not received any education on drugs in sport, nor was he aware of the sport's anti-doping rules or WADA's prohibited list. The hearing heard Pedersen was diagnosed with anxiety and depression after counseling by a clinical psychologist when his long-term relationship ended in 2013. He was unable to work from May to September 2014 and was on a sickness benefit. Pedersen told the hearing he stopped playing rugby in July to August 2014 after suffering a serious concussion, his second of the year. There was a question mark on whether he would ever play again. The hearing evidence said he was severely distressed and gained considerable weight in 2014 and around that time saw a Facebook advertisement about a weight loss product, clenbuterol. He wanted to lose weight to improve his appearance and gain back some self-esteem. He bought a 10 ml bottle of clenbuterol and admitted taking some, but he did not like the taste so stopped using it before he finished the bottle. At the time he was living with his sister, who asked him to order some clenbuterol for her. His sister confirmed that at the judicial hearing. The judicial committee heard evidence from Peterson's GP, who confirmed the accuracy of the statements about the player's medical history, including his concussions, and confirmed weight gain was a common side effect of depression and anxiety disorders. The committee noted that while there was often cause to be skeptical of an athlete's explanation of the use of a prohibited substance, it accepted Peterson's evidence in respect of his anxiety, depression and concussion. It accepted, on the balance of probabilities, that he bought clenbuterol to lose weight, not for performance-enhancing purposes. It gave credit to Peterson for timely full and frank admission and ruled his sanctions should be one year and nine months for no significant fault. The 26-year-old Otago Maori representative, known as Ben Kaka, first played senior rugby in Dunedin in 2010 and resumed in 2013 after two years in Australia. Kaka, a teacher trainee, 
admitted possession of methadone and using or attempting to use it from May 2014. He told the hearing he was incredibly naive and made the decision without any appreciation of what medical consequences might follow for him. He never for a moment thought he could get into trouble with the New Zealand Rugby Union for making these orders. Kaka, the son of a former Fijian test player and ex-Otago representative, said he had not received any education about performance-enhancing drugs and had never been tested. His position is that he did not think ordering the steroids would be a problem for him. He now realizes he made a big mistake. Kaka said he bought and used the substance out of curiosity. He was hoping to put on muscle. He acknowledged that he had done some research on the drug and thought if it led to a physical change in him he could take it without much health risk. He ordered two cycles of the drug Dianabol and gave an address in Dunedin, first asking the package be addressed to Bryce before changing the order to one cycle and the recipient's name to Blake. He later made another inquiry, saying, Don't wanna seem like a pain, but starting to run quite low now. Got some unreal games and get the best pump on. Really want some more haha. Counsel Andrew McCormick accepted Cock acted impulsively and recklessly to his detriment and now regrets what he did. He said, as a teacher. Cock wanted to continue to be a positive and contributing member of his community and wished to be able to coach sports teams. The Judicial Committee noted it was unable to take into account the effect on Cock's future, but his references showed he had been a positive influence. He was given a two-year ban, backdated to July 31, 2017.